I guess we all have different recipe books at home. Maybe we received them as gifts or bought them ourselves. Some people are naturally skilled and can cook healthy meals without looking at different recipes or cooking TV shows. My mother was one of them. She didn't follow any books or TV programs. She had all the recipes in her head. Brothers and sisters, Jesus gave us a recipe for a happy life. In today's Gospel, we read what he said to a great crowd of people, including his disciples. He told them, How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart. They shall see God. Happy the peacemakers. They shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Some translations of the Bible use the word blessed instead of happy. That is why we call these instructions Beatitudes. They are Jesus' recipe for our happiness. If we accept the Lord's words and try to live according to them, we will feel his peace and joy no matter our personal situation. Moreover, we will be counted among his blessed ones in God's heavenly kingdom. Of course, it will not be easy to smile when we are treated badly or dance for joy when we might be unjustly called criminals on account of the Son of Man. However, we have Jesus' guarantee that if we live according to Christ's recipe, we'll inherit eternal happiness. Dear friends, I encourage you to find a few minutes today and reflect upon this beautiful Gospel passage. You might even compare it to the version of the Beatitudes written by St. Luke in chapter 6. It is truly a precious recipe for life, the recipe we need to use daily to lead holy lives, but also to give witness to our faith, especially in our secular society where our Christian faith can be criticized and scorned. May God grant us all strength to be always faithful to Him and willing to help others to become blessed as well.